Okay, so today's episode of JavaScript Interview Questions, we're going to be talking about functions using the keyword this. So we have a sample object here called circle. It's got one property radius, and there's three functions, circumference, diameter, and area. All three of them are returning the calculation. First one is declared using a normal function, second one's using the ES6 shorthand syntax, and the final one is using an arrow function. All three of them, we're calling them in the console log. If you're looking for a copy of the starter code, there's a link to it down in the description below. So I'm going to pause here for a minute, and I want you to think about and see if you can figure out what those are without running the code. See if you can figure out what the values for those three functions at the bottom there. All right, welcome back. So let's talk about the answers for this. Now I'm just going to go through them in order that they're written in the function here. Circumference. This first one, the function, is going to use the context in which it was called because it's a regular function. So down here at the bottom we've got circle dot circumference. Circle is the context, the calling context for the function. That's where this was written. So circle must be the value for this. This dot radius, so circle dot radius is going to be 10. So the radius here will be interpreted as 10 times math.pi times 2. So that one's going to work out just fine for us. That'll be 20 times pi. So 20 times pi. Now the next one, diameter. With the shorthand syntax, this is the exact same as this syntax, regular function. So this dot radius is going to be circle dot radius. And once again, radius will be interpreted as 10, and the diameter is going to be giving us 20. Okay, great. Moving on to the final one with area. The area is using an arrow function. Now with an arrow function, we're using lexical scoping, and that means it doesn't care about the context here. It doesn't care about the fact that area was inside of circle when it was called. What arrow functions do is they look at their creation context. Where was I created? I was created inside of circle. Okay, so for circle, what is at this point in the code, if I was to write the word this right here, how would that be interpreted? Well, it's going to be interpreted as the global object, because the context for this object is just it's in the global scope. So this is going to be in the global scope. This is going to refer to the global scope. And if circle uses the global scope, that means area is going to use the global scope, and it is going to be looking for something on the global scope called radius, which does not exist. And that's going to give us not a number as an answer. So this is not a number. Math.pi times math.pi times some undefined value. Not a number is what we're going to be getting back here. Okay, so let's just, to confirm that this is what's going on, I'm going to console log out the value of this in each one of these. And we'll take a look at them just to make sure that this is clear. There we go. So we've got this in all three of them and then we'll only call them one at a time instead of getting this big block of calls. Open up my console. All right, and so what we're doing this time is just going to call the area function and the area function will write out this console log and then it'll write out this. So we're going to get whatever the value of this is followed by the not a number. There we go. Okay, so that's the global object. That is not circle. Circle has the property radius inside of it. So because we don't have anything there, we're not going to we don't have something called radius inside of this object, so we're not going to get the right value for this dot radius here, which means we're going to get not a number for this one. Now diameter, oh, we got to save that with diameter. There we go. Here is this. It is the circle object. That is the context for calling this one, and that's why we get the value of 20 back. And then for the final one, we're going to get pretty much the same thing. There we go, we get the global object, and then 20 times pi, which is 62.83. So there we go. That's it. That's how this works with those different functions. 
Just keep in mind that arrow functions change the value of this to use the lexical scope. Alright, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.